This video will teach you how to define materials and standard cross-sections. In the materials task, the program automatically generated three materials based on your chosen template. You can edit, delete or create new materials by right-clicking the name. Let's change the compression strength of material 1 C2530. To open the material properties, Right click on the material and select edit. You can also double click the material's name. You can modify the compression strength by changing the concrete's classification. Select 30 from the drop down. Of course you can adjust all other material properties as well. Close the material properties by clicking OK to apply the changes to the material. The modified material number 1 as C3037 appears in the project navigation. When you create or modify materials in the Sophistic Structural Desktop, the information gets synchronized automatically with SophiePlus. Let's open the SophiePlus program. You can access SophiePlus directly from the Sophistic Structural Desktop project navigation. You can simply double click the SophiePlus task or right click it and select edit. AutoCAD opens up and Sophie Plus is available as a sidebar on the left side of it. You can find the updated material number one in the material task. The synchronization also works the other way around. This is also true for cross sections. So let's create a new cross section here in Sophie Plus. In this example, add a T-beam from the cross-section library. Right-click the cross-section task in the Sophie Plus sidebar to list all available cross-section types. You can create solid and thin walled sections graphically using the cross-section editor of Sophie Plus. However, for this example, only a simple T-beam is required. This section is available in New Standard section. A list of all standard cross sections shows up. Here, pick the T-beam cross section. The program assigns a concrete material for the section. Here it is, material number 1, C3037. In the next step, you will adjust the dimensions of the cross section. The preview window on the right always shows an up-to-date version of the section. Let's enter a total height of 600 mm, a wet width of 300 mm, a plate thickness of 240 mm and a plate width of 1000 mm. You could also adjust the calculation settings and modify the minimal reinforcement if necessary. For this example, however, keep the default values. Confirm the cross-section settings by clicking OK. The cross-section has been added to the database and appears in the cross-section list. Back in the Sophistic Structural Desktop, the newly created cross-section 1 also shows up. That's it for this video. See you in the next one.